In today's video, we're gonna be planting the seed for success by learning about dropshipping plants. Here's a plant, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to be giving you some of the best type of plants to dropship, along with some of the best suppliers to be able to source them from. Now, first things first, we need to clear this up. Is dropshipping plants legal? Well, yeah, to a certain point. So there's always gonna be certain types of plants or certain types of herbs that you're not gonna be allowed to dropship simply because of their legality or because of the region that they're being dropshipped in. But you don't have to worry too much about this because the suppliers that I'm gonna give you all have fully 100% legal plants to be able to dropship. But just so you know, dropshipping plants from let's say one country to another, you need to be careful in that part, specifically because of agricultural rules and because some plants might be invasive in some areas and actually cause more harm than good. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering some of the best types of plants that you can dropship, along with the best places to dropship them from 100% legally. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, when it comes to plants, people love their plants just as much as they love their pets or sometimes even just as much as people love their kids. People obsess over their plants. I like the plants. I know tons of people that only post stories on their Instagrams or their TikToks of their plants. I know some people that are literally obsessed. I don't know why. It's not my thing. We have maybe one or two plants in the house that my wife really wanted, but for myself, I don't know. I just don't see, I just don't see my house just full of these things. But that's why we're not targeting me for these types of products. We're targeting other types of people, people that are spontaneous buyers and people that just overall love plants. Before we do get started, we have an easy to reference cheat sheet that's going to cover all of the different styles that I'm going to talk about for plants and the different suppliers that you can source them from. If you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below the hashtag plant dropshipping and let me know which one of these suppliers or which one of these plant styles is your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. Now, with that being said, some of the best places that you can start advertising your products in is definitely going to be for one Instagram. People on Instagram go crazy posting literally anything. So you can advertise your products on there. You can show off your different types of plants on there, both in the forms of pictures, stories, and let me give you a third one, reels. Reels are the ones that really start to go viral. Another option that you have is Pinterest. Plants and Pinterest, they kind of go hand in hand together. It's the type of niche that is found on something like Pinterest. It's something that's researched a lot through Pinterest. Now, what are some of the best plants that you can actually start to drop ship? Well, for one, you need to take into consideration the overall general demographic of people of where you're going to be drop shipping from or drop shipping to. So think about it this way. How many people actually have a huge house where they can fit as many plants as they want? Some people might, some people might not. More people often than not are going to have let's say an apartment or a smaller place to themselves that they're going to fill up with plants. So because of this, one of the first products that you should start offering in the plants niche is going to be smaller household plants. So small plants that can fit in small little spaces, those are going to be ideal for pretty much the general demographic of people, almost everybody. Now, let me hit you with one quick fact. According to Terrarium Tribe, over half of all Americans have plants in their house. 66% of people that live in the US have at least one or two plants in their house. That's a lot of people. There's a massive demand for this product. There's a lot of people that love these types of products. And whether you have a smaller space or a bigger space, people are gonna find ways to fill it up. And one of the most common items is gonna be plants, specifically the smaller plants. Now, the good thing about the smaller plants is for one, they thrive in more closed spaces. So they don't need as much light to be able to actually start growing. Now, there's a few different types of plants that you can offer. And just as a quick example, there are going to be some plants named snakes, spiders, and pothos. I know those are some pretty interesting names, but I didn't make those names. But those are just to give you a couple of ideas on what you can offer for plants that are going to thrive in low light situations. Kind of like this. Aside from that, honestly, one of the biggest advantages to having these smaller types of plants is the fact that they're low maintenance. You really don't have to do much except water them maybe once a week, if that. Aside from your smaller household plants, you also have some other ones like herbs, not those kinds of herbs, and edible plants. These types of edible plants are absolutely huge with people that are into things like sustainable living and essentially gardening and being able to grow their own food or being able to sustain themselves. Now, the cool thing about herbs and edible plants is that they, for one, come in different types of kits. So you can order a kit 
that is going to have everything that you need in order to start growing your own herbs. Like let's say cilantro, basil or basil, however it is that you pronounce it, cherry tomatoes, strawberries, all of those different types of edible plants or different types of fruits. And not just that though, there's also different types of plants that you can grow that aren't going to be necessarily edible to you, but edible to pets. So take for example, something like catnip. Catnip is one of those plants that can easily be grown in the house and caters to two different types of demographics of people. One, people that like plants and overall just tending to their own garden. And two, people that love their pets, specifically in this case, cats. Now this next type of plant is the one that I was talking about earlier that you need to be a little bit careful with and you need to do a little bit of research. So when it comes to drop shipping rare and exotic plants, this can potentially land you in hot water, but not really. So hear me out. What you need to do in this case is you need to find out exactly what plant it is that you're drop shipping and you need to make sure that it's legal in the country that you're drop shipping to. Sometimes there's going to be specific plants that only grow in certain areas of the world, that only grow in certain regions or in certain countries. In which case, sometimes those aren't allowed to cross borders. Those aren't allowed to cross any county lines because for one, they could potentially just entirely throw off the ecosystem. An invasive plant can do a lot of damage where it's not supposed to be. It can take a lot of nutrients from other plants and essentially just start to destroy whatever it is around it. So be careful when it comes to drop shipping rare and exotic plants. But again, it's not something that can be very detrimental because honestly, the possibility of you getting a plant that could actually be dangerous like that is pretty slim to none. But nevertheless, always make sure that if you're drop shipping a plant from any other country into a different country, make sure that it's fully legal and just make sure that it's allowed in that country. It's not an invasive species and that it's just not going to land you in any hot water. That's illegal. All right. All right. That's illegal. Now, this next style of plant is probably the most popular one. And this is the one that's also going to be the smallest, the most compact, and most importantly, the ones with the absolute least maintenance. And that's going to be low maintenance plants. Now, one of those examples, the perfect example for this is a succulent. Succulent plants require absolutely no maintenance. When you put water in them, you do that maybe once every couple of weeks, if that. Aside from succulents, though, you also have a couple of other ones like ZZ plants and peace lilies. Those are just a couple that you can offer, but there's an entire catalog of all of these different types of plants, all of which are going to be shown in the different suppliers that I'm going to be giving you a little bit later on. Next, we have seasonal plants and flowers. Now, when it comes to this type of plant, there are a few different options that you can choose from. So, for example, let's say during the spring, a few different plants that are trending during that time are going to be poinsettias. Oh, I said it right the first time. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Tulips and daffodils. Again, those are just a few. There's a lot more, but these are some of the more popular ones. Now, the cool thing about these different types of plants is that a lot of the times they're going to be a lot more festive than some of the other ones that you traditionally drop ship or that you traditionally sell. So compare something like, let's say, a succulent to a tulip. The difference is phenomenal. The tulip is so much nicer than the succulent, right? They both have their nice styles. The succulent, I'm not saying it's ugly. It's really nice. It's a perfect little piece to go in pretty much any household. But the tulip it gives much more of an impression. And that's something that you can use to be able to sell these plants because they're seasonal. You can market it as, you know, just for the spring season, here's these particular tulips that are just absolutely sprouting and looking beautiful and compare it to something else, compare it to something else that's more traditional, that's not as vibrant. But aside from that, still sticking to the plants niche, you can also offer different types of accessories. So you can offer things like different types of potters, watering accessories, different types of foods. All of these different add-ons are things that people will purchase when they actually purchase their plants as well. So at the end of the day, everything is going to go together and it could potentially increase your average order value by getting you a few more sales with some of your other products. All right, so now that we covered the different types of plants that you can start to drop ship, let's talk about some of the places that you can start to source these different plants from. Now, before we continue, remember, if you want to check out the cheat sheet, just go ahead and comment down below the hashtag plant dropshipping and let me know which one of these style of plants or which one of these suppliers is your favorite. So the first supplier that we're going to be covering today is none other than the Auto DS marketplace and private suppliers. Now, when it comes to our private suppliers, we have a pretty vetted list of high quality suppliers with some fast shipping. On top of that, you get tons of different features. Like for one, you get the ability to brand your different products. And two, you have, again, some pretty quick shipping 
some of which even rivals Amazon. So looking at our dashboard over at AutoDS.com after we logged in, which by the way, if you're not signed up just yet for AutoDS, you can get started right now and gain access to everything I'm showing you for just $1 for the next two weeks. So if you've been thinking of giving us a shot and trying out automation for your dropshipping business, then right now is the time. But aside from that, once you're signed up and signed in, this is the first page that you're going to see. This is the marketplace on here. The one thing that I always do is I switch the supplier. So here we have an option for three different suppliers. One is going to be the auto DS. The other one's going to be AliExpress, and we're also going to have Amazon. Now I like to switch this over to the auto DS suppliers. And these are some of the different plant products that you can find specifically with our private suppliers. So for one, you have things like this seeds variety pack. You also have one of the plants that I talked about earlier, which is a snake plant, one of the lower maintenance plants. Then you can see down here, you have a lot of other similar products like this one right here, the begonia strawberry, the blue pine trees, Calathea, if that's how you pronounce it, purple rose, but this one's really nice. And the Oya sweetheart variegated, Var variegated. I can't pronounce that one, but overall, you have tons of different options for plants to be able to choose from, all of which have some pretty quick shipping times. Like, look at this one. This one ships between six to eight business days. The Seeds Variety Pack ships in about five business days. And there's tons of other more products. Now, if I like this particular one and I want to import it to my store, all I have to do is simply click on Import Draft and choose whatever store I want to upload it to. That is assuming that you have multiple stores. But if you don't, it'll just automatically go to whatever store you have active or whichever one you have connected. Now, when you do import this product, it doesn't go live in your store. It goes to your draft section. Now, when it's in your draft section, all you have to do is simply click on click to edit and you can edit all of your information directly from this screen before you actually make it go live in your store. So you can edit the title. You can edit the collections. If let's say you're drop shipping on Shopify, if you're on eBay, you can choose the different categories. Same thing goes for Etsy. You can change the description, which pretty cool. You can optimize with AI directly on the screen as well. And that's just the description. You can also optimize the title. Then you have the different types of variants where here, if we had more, you would see the different, let's say sizes, for example, and you can even edit them and adjust your pricing based on your fees or however much profit you want to make or everything combined. So let's say I have 8% in fees and my profit, I want to do, I don't know, 90%. This is an extra fee that's added onto all of my transactions. So let's say those 30 cents, in which case I'm going to be selling for $36 and 47 cents. My profit is going to be 1605. And that profit does not include this fee right here or this fee right here. So your total profit is going to be how much you actually make. So this is really handy because it's going to tell you how much money you're making after the fees and after you purchase the product. So it's going to be legit take home profit, whatever you want to do with it. It's going to be your money, not the money that you need to put aside to pay for your products or to pay for again, many fees. Aside from that, you also have the images tab where you can go ahead and add, delete, or even edit any images. And one cool new feature about AutoDS is the sourcing feature. So if you don't like this particular supplier, you have the option to source the product from a huge variety of other suppliers to see which one works best for you, which one has the better shipping times for you, which one is going to have the better pricing for you. So with our new sourcing request, you can automatically get new suppliers for the same product so you can start making some more money. Aside from that, though, some extra features that you're going to get by signing up to AutoDS is going to be full on dropshipping automation. So as you saw, you have streamlined importing for your products. You don't have to copy over everything. And as we all know, that takes a lot of time. So you don't have to copy over all of the images, the titles, the descriptions, the variations, do all the math to make sure that you have the proper pricing. This is all done automatically for you. Aside from that, you also get full automation for your order fulfillment on the complete other side of the spectrum, I guess you could say. So on this part, you're going to have all of your orders fulfilled by AutoDS. Now there's two ways to be able to do this. You can either fulfill your orders directly with AutoDS, or you can do automatic orders. Automatic orders are going to take your information into account. So you're going to sign into AutoDS using, let's say your AliExpress account, and then AutoDS is going to sign on to AliExpress on your behalf, make the purchase with your credit card, and that's it. After the order is processed and fulfilled, AutoDS will automatically take that tracking number and update your customers with it. Aside from that, you have fulfilled by AutoDS, which is a lot easier. In this case, what you have is the option to be able to make purchases without your buyer accounts and without even your credit card details. So let's say you have a product on Amazon that you want to source, but you don't want to put your Amazon account at risk because Amazon doesn't necessarily like dropshippers. They don't like you taking their products and sending them to a bunch of different addresses. They'll block or restrict your account. So what happens in this case is 
you can use Fulfilled by AutoDS, which Fulfilled by AutoDS has multiple buyer accounts that do not get restricted. And then you can use that to be able to source your products from Amazon. So that way your accounts are never put at risk. And on top of that, you don't even use your credit cards or your debit cards. What you do is you top up a balance on AutoDS and then that balance is used to pay for your products. So again, if you wanna check out AutoDS, you can check us out right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. Now, the next supplier on this list is Houseplant Wholesale. The cool thing about Houseplant Wholesale is that they have two locations on totally opposite sides of the US. So they have one on the West Coast in California and the other in the East Coast in Florida. So no matter where you are, you're gonna get pretty fast shipping, regardless of pretty much whatever product you order. If you order something that's closer to the California location, it'll ship from the California location. If you order something and you're closer to the Florida location, then your item is gonna ship from there. So at the end of the day, you're gonna have some pretty fast shipping, no matter where it is that you're drop shipping to in the US. Now, the cool thing about this supplier is that they have obviously a massive inventory of different types of plants to drop ship, but they're all essentially fresh. They all ship directly from a greenhouse. Another cool thing about the supplier is that they're actually dropshipper friendly. To get a bit more information, you are gonna have to reach out to them. But from all of the research that we did, it seems to be for one, no inventory costs. So fees are either non-existent or minimal, but you are gonna have to reach out to them. You are gonna have to become a member and you're gonna have to get all of the information directly from them. Now, they are a pretty highly reputable supplier. They have very good reviews online. So if you're looking to dropship plants, I highly suggest you check out Houseplant Wholesale. Next, you have Plant Boy. Now, Plant Boy is another dropshipping specific website for plants. So as soon as you land on their website, you can see that they are dropshipper friendly. Sell plants without the dirty work, without you know handling all that soil and shipping and all that fun stuff. Now, Plant Boy is also another one of those fresh dropshipping suppliers that are gonna be shipping directly from greenhouses. So once the product gets to your customer's door, it's guaranteed fresh. Now, really quick on a side note, the cool thing about, or one of the greatest things about this niche is the fact that since you're drop shipping live plants, these plants need to essentially be fresh. So the shipping is gonna be pretty quick. They really don't have much of another option. You can't take a month shipping with these plants because by the time they get to the customer, they're gonna be just completely withered away. Now, Plant Boy has some pretty easy integration with different online websites. So you can integrate Plant Boy with, let's say, your Shopify store directly. They actually make this whole process pretty easy. Aside from that, another thing that I absolutely love about them is their customer service. If you have any questions about any one of their products, you can reach out to them and they'll get back to you usually within that same day. Now, this is extremely important because I say this all the time. Our customer service is an extension of our supplier's customer service. If our customers have a question, they're gonna ask us and they're gonna expect a reply within about a day. Now, the problem with this is the fact that we're not gonna have the answers every single time. If we keep going at it, then we might, but up until that point, we're gonna be very reliant on our suppliers for a lot of product information. So if our suppliers don't get back to us within that one day, then we're gonna take a lot longer than we should to reply back to our customers. In which case, if we take more than 24 hours, our customers are either gonna forget they messaged us or two, they're gonna just go somewhere else and they're gonna make their purchase somewhere else with somebody that is a lot more responsive. So always make sure that you email your suppliers and just make sure that that communication is there. Make sure they have efficient communication so that way you know for a fact that whenever your customers have a question, you can get back to them in a timely manner. The houseplant box is next and they have a different type of model. So one thing that they offer that some of these others don't is a subscription model, which is actually pretty cool because that's something that you don't normally see when it comes to plants. This is something that can really set you apart and differentiate you from the competition. Now, aside from their subscription service, they also have drop shipping services. So they are drop shipper friendly for you. And if you wanna order in bulk, if you notice that one of your products is getting a lot of attention, if you're getting a lot of sales with a particular product, you might wanna order those in bulk and potentially ship those out yourself or have somebody else ship them out to be able to make a little bit more money. So in this case, you also have the option for wholesaling. So you can wholesale directly from this company as well. Now, as far as their different locations, they actually have a network of growers. So they work with a lot of different growers that grow a few different types of plants. So that way they can be shipped throughout the country, all with reasonable timing. So that way, of course, you can make sure that your customers get their plants on time and not withered away. Next, we have Perfect Plants. Now, one of the biggest things that stands out to me when it comes to Perfect Plants is this. So you can see that they have things like three different fruits in one tree. 
So they have trees or different types of plants that can have multiple types of fruits in them. So they're like hybrids. It's pretty cool because in this case, you're essentially getting a three in one. This is one of those products that I was telling you about that you can offer as a rare or exotic plant. It's pretty rare to see something that can grow three different types of fruits. That's insane. And you got to love the name of this too, fruit cocktail trees. It just goes perfect. So aside from that, these are directly sourced from different growers, which again, have some pretty quick shipping speeds that ship directly from greenhouses to make sure that your customers have for one, fresh plants and two, their plants in a timely manner. Now, if you're drop shipping in, let's say the Florida area, this is where you're going to have some of the fastest shipping because this is where they're going to have the majority of their uh, grow houses. Now for this, you can expect one to two day shipping, which is absolutely insane. This is rivaling Amazon at that point. And as far as their catalog, as you saw, they already have some pretty interesting ones with that hybrid tree that I told you about. But aside from that, they also have some other ones like a few different types of house plants, trees, shrubs, and different types of accessories. Next up, we have Air Plant Supply Co. specializing in none other than air plants. So air plants is actually something that I just found out about because when I moved into my new house, the tree in the back had air plants. And I was looking at them, and I'm like, what is that? Why... Why are there just these random little plants on the tree? And on top of that, they look like the tops of pineapples. They actually looked pretty similar to these right here. So I was I was tripping out. I'm looking at them thinking, do pineapples grow on trees? Like my mind was just going everywhere. But my wife came out and looked at them and thought, oh, they got air plants in this house. These are absolutely awesome. And I looked at her like, what's an air plant? And then I learned. And that's when I found out. Apparently air plants are huge. People absolutely love air plants. And people go to Florida to get these different types of plants and take them back to where they are. So with that being said, air plants are a must have or a must drop ship. Now it goes without saying this supplier specializes in different types of air plants, which are actually not that big. So since they are pretty small, the shipping on them is for one, going to be fairly quick. And two, if it's not free, it's going to be very cheap. Now, when it comes to this company in particular, Air Plant Supply Co., you're not going to have necessarily a drop shipping program, but you are going to have a minimum order quantity through wholesaling. So you can order your products a bit cheaper by ordering a few in bulk. And what you can do in this case is you can contact them, let them know that you want them to hold the stock and just ship them out as you get your orders. I know it's different than the traditional form of drop shipping because you're going to be paying upfront your wholesaling at this point, but that's just an option to be able to give you to be able to offer some of these different plans. And last but not least, we have Sprout South. Now, Sprout South does offer quite the variety of plants, but they also offer a lot of different types of accessories, which when looking at the website, honestly, that's probably what you're going to use it more for to gain access to their different types of accessories. Because look at this one, a disco ball hanging planter. This is unique. This is not something that I've seen before. This is something that a lot of people are going to like. I'm looking at you, boomers. I know y'all like these types of things. Disco's not dead, right? Right. Anyway, <laughs> aside from that, they do have a pretty extensive selection of different types of products. Aside from different types of planters, they have different types of garden accessories, different types of indoor plants, a lot of home decor and different terrariums. Now, while they don't necessarily grow the plants themselves, they do work with a network of different farmers to offer the different products that they have in their store, or at least the different plants that they offer in their store. And those are some of the best products that you can drop ship in the plant niche, along with some of the best suppliers that you can source your products from. Huge thank you to everyone for watching. Remember that if you want access to the cheat sheet with all of the different links and all of the different suggestions that I gave you in the video, make sure you go ahead and comment down below the hashtag plant dropshipping and let me know which one of these products or these styles or these suppliers is your favorite. Let me know down in the comments below. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll send you access to the cheat sheet. Once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching. If you made it this far in the video, that means you enjoyed this video. So please consider smashing that like button. Don't just hit it. Don't just click it. Smash that thing. Also hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.